Have you ever wondered that, how some apps which you use on daily basis, they have this kind of beautiful sidebar, which have this sliding animation and gradient background, and the curved sides? If your answer is yes, then please stick with the end of this video, and we will create this sidebar. So let's start the video, so here I've this empty project in which I just have an empty scaffold. Now come into the pubspec.yaml file, and here add the advanced flutter drawer package, and then tap on this pub get option. Now close this and come to the main.dart file, and here come inside this class, and here first create the controller for the drawer, so here add the final drawer controller, and then assign it the advanced drawer controller, this line will initialize our controller, which is used to control the state of the advanced drawer. Then come inside this build method, and from here remove this container and here add the advanced drawer widget, and this widget have two required parameters, one is child which is the main body, and the drawer that is the side menu, so let's first create the body for the screen. So for that come inside this child and here add the scaffold widget, then come inside this and here add the app bar, then add the title for the app bar, then add the leading for the app bar, because this is the button which will open the drawer, so here add the icon button, and then add the icon for this button, so for the icon I'm adding the value listenable builder of advanced drawer value, you can ask why we have used these much thing, rather than we can just use a simple icon, so let me explain, we are using this thing because we want that for closing the drawer there should be a different icon, and for opening the drawer there should be the different icon, but as you don't want this kind of behavior then you can use a static icon instead of this. Now this needs a value listenable, so for this just add the drawer controller to it. Then add the builder function that takes three arguments, context, value, and child. But in our case we don't want context and child, so let them be undefined and just use value thing. Then from here return animated switcher. Then add the duration for changing the icon, so I've added the duration as 250 milliseconds, then add the icon as child for this, and inside it add the condition that, if this value is visible which means the drawer is opening, then we need to show the close icon otherwise we need to show the menu icon. Then assign a key to the icon based on the visibility state, so that Flutter knows which widget to animate when the value changes. Then for the on pressed method of icon button, here add the handle menu button method, and then create this method. Then come inside this method and then here make use for drawer controller and then add the open drawer thing, so that whenever user will tap onto this button then our drawer will open. Now let's create the hot and sexy part of this app. So here inside this drawer first add safe area, then inside this add the container widget, and then add the list tile theme as the child of this container, so the reason for using list tile theme is that, this will help in to sets the theme for list tile widgets inside it, so we don't need to set the theme for every elements manually, so inside it add the icon color and the text color as white. Then add the column widget and then sets the main axis size to max, then now let's add the header for the side drawer, so here add the container widget, and the sets the height and width for this widget, then sets the margin for the top and bottom side, then add the clip behavior as anti-alias, then add the decoration for this header, so here I've added the color and a circular shape. Now here you can use any widget like image icon or something else, but for this tutorial purpose I'm just using a Flutter logo. Now save the code and let's check if everything is working fine or not, so the app is installed and when pressed on this menu button then the menu button is changed to cross button, but the drawer is not opened. So let's fix this issue, this issue is occurring because we haven't added the drawer controller to the drawer widget, so let's add that, now save the code, and press on this button then our drawer is opening, but the color thing and the animation thing is not perfect, and don't worry about this we will fix this issue in a minute but before that let's complete all the things for the drawer. So here come below this container widget and here add the list tile widget, and here make the on tap. Method empty as of now, you can use the routing logic here. The here add the leading title and the title for this list tile widget, and then copy this list tile widget and add it below couple more times, then just change the title and icon for these copied list tile, so now the menu thing is ready, now let's add the footer for this side drawer. So for that here add the spacer widget, so this widget will take all the empty space on the screen and now if we add any element in this column, 
then those items will automatically come at the bottom of the screen, so after adding the spacer, here add the default text style. So the reason for using this widget is that, this widget sets the default text style for its child widget, which is a container widget containing the text widget. Now remove this container from above here, and add the empty container for the body of this scaffold widget. Now if you just want to add the background color for your container, then you can make use of backdrop color, so I've added the backdrop color, and if you save the code and then press on this button, now this freaking side drawer making sense, now let's just remove this backdrop color. And here add the backdrop and add the container widget for this, now come inside this container and here add the height and width as double dot infinity, so that it will cover all the space. Then add the decoration for this container, and here inside this box decoration add the gradient, and we want to use the linear gradient so here add the linear gradient, then add the starts of this gradient begin from the top left corner, and it will end at the end of right, so I've added that and now add the colors for this gradient, so here I'm adding the blue-gray color, and the blue-gray color with some opacity. And now you save the code then you can see the gradient thing is working fine. Now add the animation curve for this widget as ease in out, then add the animation duration. That how much time does it takes to open and close the drawer, then make the animate child decoration to true, and now if you want that your drawer should open from the right side, then add the RTL opening to true, and finally make the disabled gesture to false. Now if you save the code and you can see now the drawer is opening from the right side, but I don't want that so I'm making it false, and now save the code and everything is working fine. Now let's add the child decoration for the screen, so that we can achieve the rounded corner and elevation behavior. So here I've added the box decoration, and inside it add the box shadow thing, and then add the shadow color and the blur radius of this shadow, and then add the border radius, so I've added the border radius as 15, now save the code and you can see that now the screen have rounded corner, and the animation thing is working pitch perfect. So this was it for this animated side drawer thing, now if you have learned something new from this video, then please give a thumbs up, and please comment down what you want to learn next. And if you haven't subscribed to Widget Wisdom then please do subscribe to us.